Hey guys, Glenn here. I'm gonna try something new. It's gonna be a video about me just going through these war bases um, that we are currently facing and sort of dissecting and trying to understand um, how I read Town Hall 9 bases and sort of the things that you want to look out for so that your attack has a very good chance of three-starring. So let's look at this base. Um, I'm probably going to hit this base a little bit later, but I can immediately tell just by looking at this base that it has a very uh, obvious weakness, which is that the two expos are grounded, so they are not in play if I decide to do all air. And notice that both sweepers are facing uh, the same direction, and one of them is actually really bad in that it's not really protecting anything. Um, that wizard tower maybe, but let's say I took down that wizard tower last. Uh, then that sweeper here isn't doing anything. So this is a very good air attack base. Now let's try to understand if I were to use a mass Lalu on this base, how would I need to take it out? There is four air defenses that I cannot take out easily because they are not exposed. But, uh, and one of them is uh, in the core that links up with three. So that means that I can't have a hound sitting here by itself without this one having a hound and even this one maybe. Uh, because when you have overlapping air defenses, it's a disadvantage for you to try to take defenses out one at a time. So let's say if you were to try to go like this or something, the hound that's sitting here is going to be hit by three air defenses. And with that kind of time, it, you might as well just send all the hounds in and take both of these out and then this last. Uh, so that, that, that would be something that I do. So something like... Um, because I need to figure out what the CC is, I would need to maybe do something like... Um, I would probably do something like this. I would send loons here and here hasted. Try to eliminate this air defense. I might just go with three hounds. One, two, and three hound. Uh, with the CC hound and a whole lot of loons. Like 30 loons I'm, I'm thinking. And the reason why I know this plan probably will work is because of the fact that there's no Teslas in this area down here so that it can't screw up my loon pathing. So if I sent like four or five on this archer tower, I believe it will travel to the cannon and then the air defense. And then it will take it out as well as get the CC lure. And then I can take care of, of the uh, CC and try to eliminate one of these archer towers using my uh, heroes up here or something like that. Uh, avoiding the the range of the expos and then what I would do is because a huge threat to my mass law loon would be these uh, wizard tower farm here um, I would need to send two hounds first and then loons and then immediately before the hound gets to the air defense I would send in my CC hound here and loons here I would think yeah I would need to do something like that and I'm basically going to haste 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 and then Rage and then Skelly's here for the Queen. Now if you have a level 14 Queen as your enemy uh, Queen uh, you would want to use the Skelly's or something smaller of a kill squad to kill her because if you're going to invest like two golems and your whole half of an army to just get a level 14 Queen you're not really investing uh, well in your army. So that's it for this uh, bait. Let's go to the next one that I want to talk about, which is this one. Now, what do I immediately recognize with this base is that it's very tight. Um, all the defenses are tight. You will need a somewhat heavy of a kill squad to enter in and do a big damage before you try to eliminate the outer defenses, the backside. Uh, yeah, the backside. Um, what I can recognize with this is the air defenses are fairly close together in the core. And though I could maybe plan to pick out one of these air defense with my heroes or something like that, it's just not a good Laloon base to me. To me, defenses are fairly close enough that hogs or a good heavy kill squad like Valks will take huge advantage of the base. So let's say, for instance, if I were to drop a jump here, that would open up a whole lot of defenses and what's great about this entry right here is that um, 
I'm facing the defenses one at a time and you always want to go for an entry point where you're facing the defenses one at a time and what I mean by that is this cannon can't hit my troops neither can these uh, defenses neither can this wizard tower and this expo will hit it a little bit late but it's going to be just about three defenses if I were to create a, a funnel here and then try to enter into the base like this with a jump there uh, a bad uh, example of uh, entering a base where it's not facing one defense at a time is something like along the lines of here now global witch is so strong that maybe it'll work in this base using these jumps like here and here yeah i'm pretty sure that would work with global witch coming in from here but let's say you were doing a small kill squad and a back end hogs or loons this is a bad entry point because Basically, you're coming in and you're going to immediately face one, two, three, four, five, six, seven defenses and the queen and the king and the CC. So that's the kind of thing you're looking for when you're entering a base. The entry point is to avoid an entry point where basically you're working with not a huge kill squad, not a whole big of an army, but you're entering into an area where sure you may take out a lot of defenses, but all of those defenses are activated at the same time, which is a huge disadvantage to you. So always go for an entry point like here, here where you're going to be facing the defenses one at a time and you're not going to be overwhelmed it's going to be the base that's going to be overwhelmed with uh your troops so i would do something like valks and bowlers double jump double heal and then i would think about something like two balloons here two balloons here two balloons here two here maybe two here so that's like 10 balloons and a huge kill squad uh, maybe some balloons here too later on because of the fact that the air defenses are so close to the core Maybe the second jump needs to be a little bit here to get this air defense But uh, yeah, that would be sort of my mindset what I would uh, do for this particular base for uh, those uh, reasons I mentioned earlier just before I'm gonna look at the next base now. This one is not that interesting So I'm going to skip that one and look at this one so this one not a lot to talk about it's it's a very unique open uh base concept what i would do for this one is that take the advantage of the fact that i don't need a jump to access all of these defenses so i would do something like a global witch strong global witch going all the way down i would say one golem here one golem here you can even drop one hog here just for fun or just do a whole lot of witches and bowlers um, here I mean the bowlers would be in the core I mean the center point but the witches and wi wizards behind and they're just gonna w work their way into the core get the CC get the queen and take out the rest maybe you can have some back-end loons here maybe four just in case for those uh, defenses but that's what I see I see two rages two heals no jump needed um, yeah, that's what I see with this space. Maybe you can do something like a 3-4 P.E.K.K.A, 4 healers down the middle uh, as well. Um, but I would say Gobo Witch is a safer attack for this base. Just because of the fact that it's opened up, no jump is needed to access all of these defenses. Great for uh, Gobo Witch. Next, I'm going to look at this space. Now, what is weak about this space? Um, I know for a fact that uh, because we always think of the kill squad as something to take out the CC and the enemy queen, we may do something like a jump here and try to eliminate the queen, king, and some of these defenses. But if you enter from here and you only use, and it, you decide to use two golems, I think it's a huge waste. And that's the sort of the trick to this base, I think, is that you're going to be taking out the queen, sure, and maybe the late CC might get you a little bit. That's that's a little bit concerning, but you're taking a lot of storages out with two golems. Uh, so I would do a small kill squad and a heavy back end army. Uh, but if you were to do two golems and bowlers, um, it might be risky in that there are a lot of these point defenses in the back end that can screw you up and there is a chance that the tesla is not even by the king queen maybe they're here actually but if they're not and they're sitting like out here somewhere 
that that may screw you uh, because there's too much in the backside. So for this space, I would think about something like because I love mass slalom so much and I immediately recognize that this air defense is exposed, I can eliminate some of these buildings, this one, and then funnel my king queen in here to get the uh, air defense. Uh, another thing I could do is just haste in some loons to get both of these out, which are both related to air, and then lure this uh, the CC. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. And then I might do my king queen kill, king queen CC kill here, and my queen ability may get these two, which are uh, two more air defenses. I mean, air targeting defenses. Yeah, that would be ideal because. If I eliminate this whole section, right, and look at where the three air defenses are and look at the sweeper. The sweeper is not even facing uh, uh, this air defense back here. So if you were to um, push in with four, no, three hounds and loons, skelly, rage right there, uh, your CC hound here, loons here. Oh, that's an easy three. That is an easy, easy three. No sweeper. Just a whole lot of haste here, here, and here to get to the third air defense, and that that's that's a wrap. That's you're gonna over overwhelm this base with la, uh, mass lalun for sure. So uh, that's what I would do for that kind of uh, that base. Uh, this space. Now I'm just saying these as to give you an idea as to just what I look for in a base and um, how I execute or plan out my attacks. Not for you to say that that is not not for me to say that this is the best way to do this and that is the only way. Um, it is just to help anyone out who's watching this, uh, who doesn't understand how to um, take advantage of the weakness of the base. So please feel free to think that you feel free to do a totally different army comp and a totally different attacks for these bases. I'm just giving you my thoughts and my uh, my ideas from my experiences, that's all. So for this space, what I see immediately is an exposed air defense. I could think of doing something like take that out with the heroes and a Laloon here, here, here because that does not face the sweepers which are facing the wrong way. Only problem with that may be that there is a heavy load of uh, air targeting defenses here as well as the queen. Now the CC lure is so easy I can do a one barbarian drop here to lure it maybe like here and then take maybe some of these out with my heroes as well as the CC. Um, what can I do for this space? For me if I were to hit it mass lawloon can work. It can work but it is a little concerning that it ends at where the queen enemy queen is with uh, about five defenses here that are all air targeting. So because you know that the uh, backside here is very light, right? Um, I would say maybe Tesla's there, but it's fairly light. So you know that the threat of the base is around here and maybe about here. So if you were to enter into this base, let's say with a jump here maybe a loon here maybe or maybe not you could just do a full gobo witch you would need a golem here so it comes to the wizard tower and then into the base and then you would want to do a delayed golem here just because of the cc you don't want the cc to uh pretty much rape your golem you don't want that so uh delayed second golem and then just pretty much gobo witch the base um entering into this part of the base which has a lot of defenses and you know that your wizards witches and bowlers are going to take those out real quick and then the second jump should be somewhere around here i would say the reason why you would want to connect to this side is to get these defenses there's only one expo here you don't have to worry about the air defense with a global witch attack so your jump would need to lead more to the uh, east side of this base so that's just how i would um, hit this base maybe you can do global witch from the opposite side as well i'm not too sure how that's going to work but um Maybe something like here and here. I don't know. Um, yeah, but that's what I see. Mass Lawland can work. Gobo Witch can work. Gova Ho can work in this space. Um, just realize the, the threat. This is the threat. This can be a bit of a threat. There may be Teslas here. Um, yeah, that's what I see with this space. So 
I hope this video sort of helps to how I see uh, town online bases and maybe you guys can try something similar to what I suggest and it works out well and then we win all together. But whatever happens, happens. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Next video is going to be about how we executed these attacks and what we could have done to improve or done better with these uh, attacks. And hopefully uh, these videos help you to get better at three-starring Town 09s more consistently. See you guys in the next one. Make me proud, guys.